Yo guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet another video. Today's video, we're gonna unbox the new Co 450. So we are at Leon Sagar by Xavier Bill, his grandson. And this tour is quite simply amazing. I'll give you a, a quick tour before we uh, go to the Cove unboxing. Yeah, that's a Stark Park 80 horsepower motocross bike. Yeah, they actually uh, gave me a forklift. So yeah, probably haven't seen my KTM video. <laughs> what could go wrong? I'm a forklift professional. Oh, we also brought Mr. Snail. What's up, buddy? So yeah, Cove is really making a big name lately because uh, if I'm correctly, last year they actually uh, finished three motorcycles in the Paris Dakar. And that is pretty amazing with a small brand spanking new team. So I uh, can't really wait to see the build quality of this thing. It also comes in two versions. It comes in a regular edition and a factory edition. The factory edition is not road legal, makes a hell lot of noise. And this is the regular one. So it should be a green, but it says here it's a red one. Hmm. Holy damn. Yeah, Belgium weather is like England. It can rain pretty badly in a short period of time. That's why the box is wet. Ooh. Oh, we got a lot of work going on today. Nice. Go, buddy. A new house for you. Yeah, building quality. First look. Looks very nice. Golly. Well, it's not tied together with ropes like a Royal Enfield, but this is some steel wiring. This stuff is hard. Yeah, stock tires on the Cove is the CST EX01. Box one. <sighs> hmm. Pretty lightweight. Everybody thinking I'm gonna put a Ronnie Coleman lightweight yeah buddy video into it. I'm not that predictable. Bar. Well, we got the insides for the wheel right here. Yeah, damn it, this is some very nice building quality though. Did I already say this bike is 10,500 euros? 10,500 euros. That's not a lot. Well, it's a lot of money, but I mean for a TED bike. Oh, we still got a puddle of water over here. Yeah. Hey, it's a rally bike. It's made to get some water, dirt, and grease on it. Don't you worry about that. Ooh, satisfying peels coming up. Oh yes, Chinese bubble wrap. Time to compare the Chinese bubble wrap with the Italians. Oh yeah, that's some pretty good bow up there, Cove. Hoo wee, that is one good looking bike. A very nice design and looking at it first sight, also this side is like, the build quality is god dang good. Golly. Hmm. 
Now uh, let's talk about a couple of quick specs about this motorcycle. The Cove is a 449 cc's. Yep, it's got 38 kilowatts, which is about 50 horsepower and 40 newton meters of torque. Maximum speed, 170 kilometers an hour. And you can also bring 14 liters of gasoline by filling it up here, over there, and over there. Now KDM and Husqvarna, of course, also have these road legal rally monsters, and this is this is almost the same. So they uh, they borrowed the idea from uh, Husqvarna. Underneath, it kind of looks like a husky. Yeah, they borrowed that idea. <laughs> Smells like. No! Now uh, I can't wait, I can't wait to start up for the first time. Also we need to check out what's in the box. Uh-oh. Gotta make sure I don't cut a brake line with this thing. Look at that. That thing is gnarly. Golly. Ooh. That thing shreds. <laughs> Here we go. Such a friendly family here at the Leon Saga. Bikes have your bill. Real friendly guys. Hmm. That kind of looks husk fine now though. They borrowed that from Husky. Very nice. Oh yeah. Fits like a glove. Mm. Nice. Now I said it already last time. Would be cool if you could put your bike together yourself at the store. Might be some warranty issues though, but I mean, that would be cool, right? I would even pay extra if I could put my bike together myself in the shop. With of course some help, some expertise from the owners, you know. All right. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's not real satisfying. All right, handlebar mounted. Clutch feels nice. Buttons also feel feel very premium, which is always a good thing. Horn not yet connected. Four indicators. You get the set button on the top. You get the back button over here. Set and back, and of course the big lights. And on the right, of course, we get the stop button and the start. And also the motto of Cove is touch the dream. Not really sure how you're gonna touch a dream, but anyway, let's get this beast out of the box. Time to lift up the front side. Now uh, we got a good idea. Oh, lightweight, lightweight. Or the cove is very light, or Thibaut over there is very strong. Yeah. yeah, almost time to put in the front wheel. Now, I don't really find the axle, so I think the axle is in the box. If you have seen the new Super Duke uh, 1390 video, you know I don't really need a front wheel. Let's see what's in the box. Oh, we got the keys. Should be looking like this. Uh, that's not really the color of the book. We got the keys in the book. We have, what the hell, a rear sprocket? Wait. Why would they put an orange sprocket into it? Hmm. Uh, no idea. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. The holy grail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a very lightweight, tiny box. Let's see what we get over here. 
Oh, got the mirrors. And not a mirror. Ain't nobody using that. I'm just gonna put the mirrors back where they belong. Because of road bike. Now, of course, don't worry. They also do a full checkup on all the bolts and nuts after I've been working on this. Like I always say, I've been a mechanic, but you don't want to lose your front wheel because Smokey was working on it. What's that? Probably don't need that. Yeah, now the front wheel with the speedometer in front is a little bit of an, little bit of an issue. It's not the easiest one, but mama didn't raise no quitter. Finally time for some satisfying peels. Oh yeah. All right, let's get the seat off. Now uh, opening the seat is fairly easy. So yeah, open the seat, press the latch, pull it back. Here we go. Hey, wait a minute. It doesn't have a battery. So where's the battery? Very nice looking seat though. Very nice quality also. Look at that. <laughs> Smells like. No, God! No, God, please, no! I think I gotta go uh, look for a battery. But quickly, before we start it up. Yeah. Now the bike also comes with 960 millimeters of seating height and 910. And by looking at it, this is probably the 960. Yep, when I'm tippy towing, it's 960. Feels very light though. Let's go find the battery so we can start it up. What was I doing again? Oh, I had a battery. All right. Battery. This is probably the tiniest battery that I have ever seen. What in the world? Look at that. This thing is tiny as hell. Yeah, you gotta put a little bit of protection to one side. It's got two positives and two negatives because the normal positive and negative is for the bike and the other ones is actually for the roadbook. If you get the upgraded version, which is not street legal, only for rally use, you can use these for your roadbook. Yeah, but last bike kind of exploded when I hooked up the battery. So someone said, Smokey, you should hook up the positive first and the negative last. Let's do that. No explosions just yet with the positive. Oh boy, okay. Here we go, here we go. Oh, no, it's just fine. All right, it's time to check out the dash. Oh, but we have one more satisfying peel. The most important one, the dash. Oh, no. Oh, oh that, didn't, that didn't really go as planned. All right, so let's have a little look at the dash. Let's see what it does. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, that is cool. Ooh. Oh, we got some samurai. Did you guys see that samurai switch? You gotta see that again. It's like a samurai sword, sword like whoa. Here it comes, here it comes. That was fancy. Anyway, oh, a very good and very nice looking dash indeed. Now look what happens when I go to second gear. Look at that gear shift, look at that. Now that is cool. Anyway, when we press the buttons on the side over here, we can go up the menu, we can go up the menu here, down the menu here, set and go back. So we have these four buttons for the menu. It is that easy. So yeah, when we go into the menu, let's go back first from the start, we can go set ABS mode if you want to set it. We can set the ABS to open all, close the rear and close all. We go back, we have the trip data, go into the trip data, trip speed, conch, 
trip time, VCOO, no idea what that is, elevation, and air temperature. We go back, we can go into the settings connection for hooking up your Bluetooth and whatnot, Wi-Fi connection, so you can watch Netflix when riding, probably not, screen display mode, UE mode, oh, let's take this out, UE mode, what does that do? Freedom, passion, oh yeah, more passion. More passion, more passion, more energy. Oh, look at that, freedom, more passion. Yeah, let's, let's just go for the more passion one. I'm a very passionate guy. Anyway, brightness, we can set all different kinds of levels. This is gonna leave it to auto. Go back, mode, click mode, auto night. Let's try night. Oh, also very fancy. End day. Cool. Let's just leave it on auto as well. So the next owner is not screwing up. We can go into headlight mode. Headlight mode, always on or manual, you can change that. Time date, language, of course you guys know that. Maintenance and unit settings. It's still a mile an hour, I think so. Let's just put it into uh, kilometers an hour. That is way better. That is more European and that is that. So not a lot to do, of course, in rally bikes. The only thing you need. We got the four indicator button. Also a very cool looking front, look at that. Looks like some kind of owl or something, I don't know. I might be seeing things that they're not there, but nice. And of course the horn. <laughs> hmm. The kill switch is this button over here. I can hear the gasoline pump, fuel pump. I can hear the fuel pump when I press it. Oh yeah, let's find some fuel and uh, start this thing up. Yeah, I'm not capable to put uh, liquids into something that are like flammable something to do with the past don't want to talk about it lawsuits and something like that so okay, let somebody else do it now we just put some fuel into it but it turns out they only put 100 milliliters of oil into it you have to drain the oil the oil is a little bit black inside already from uh, its first starting into the factory so yeah they have to add new oil and do a full checkup so we're gonna take another bike that has already seen a lot of mud same one also like I said before this bike is 10,500 euros. If you want to have the same from Husqvarna or KTM, yeah, I think they were about 36,000. Of course, they are full factory engines, and this is like a Cove, a brand new bike, bike from China, but you know, you gotta try it out later on. So yeah, Xavier Bale from uh, Leon Sagat is of course now a dealer for Cove. So he doesn't only have one, he has a couple. And this one has been properly tested, as you can tell. And they told me they absolutely love it. So, without any further ado, I'm gonna fire this one up. I'm not gonna lie, these are some very good looking motorcycles. Let's take for a small ride. I can't believe they let me ride in the store again with a fuel-injected motorcycle. Anyway, thank you so much again, Leon Sagar, Xavier Bale, for uh, letting me unbox and ride through the store with the new Cove 450. Now, like I said, well-made bike, looks really good. Can't wait to take this out for a spin as well. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and if you want to Cove yourself, Xavier Bale. See you guys in the next one. Ride safe. See ya. If you want to see the next video, it is right over there. If you want to see my favorite video, it is right over there. Subscribing is done right over here. And if you want to know all about YouTube, go to smokeytube.com. See you guys next one. Click one of these.